All right, let's talk about the mystery of logging into your Google account. Okay, your Google account covers everything. It's it's your email. It's you making documents and slideshows and and uh, YouTube. All those things are connected to your Google account, and it's called actually the G Suite or the Google Suite of apps. And so, what's really cool is you log into one place, and it gets you access to all those things. Now, before we do this, you're going to need three things. You're going to make sure the device that you are using is connected to the internet. If it's not connected to the internet, it's not going to work. And you need to know your email account for the account you want to access and your password. Okay, so those three things. And let me tell you something about emails. I probably have seven different email accounts, but only three of them are connected to Google accounts. So it doesn't have to be a Gmail account to use a Google account, but it has to be an email that's connected to your Google account, which in this case is most likely your school email account, because we're talking about schoolwork here. Don't use your personal one, use your school one. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Safari here. And then once Safari opens up, I'm just going to go to google.com. Okay, so I'm in. Now let's take a look at what we got here on the screen. Uh, up here, you can see I can get right to my Gmail. That's one of the, the links that are up here. And then we've got this little funny looking thing. We call that the waffle. And if you click on the waffle, you can see here's all my Google stuff, as well as I could add more to it here. So my calendar, my sheets, my docs. And this might not make sense to you right now, but you're gonna learn all these things as you're a student. Okay, so anyhow, let me just tap out of that or click out of it. And now if I go to this icon, I can see whose account am I logged into. So I'm logged into my school account right now. And if I want, I could change over to my personal account. See, I could just tap on sign out. Now, no one is signed into this um, computer. Tap on sign in, and I can go back into my school account, which is right here. Now, here's an interesting thing. This computer is my computer. So when it asked me, do you want to save this password? I said yes. So it's, it's got my password already stored in here. So I can just go like this and uh, now I'm in. But that's a really important thing you've got to remember. If you're using your little cousin Timmy's laptop and, and you're in Alaska with him, you don't want to save your password on his computer. I mean, you trust him, but you don't trust him if you know what I mean. So don't save it on someone else's computer or their device. Now you can access your Google stuff like I said, from any device, a tablet, a phone, uh, anything that's got internet access and you can get to google.com and then you can log in, you can do it. But just remember, if it's not in your control, if you don't own it or it's not one of your family's devices, don't save your password on it. And always remember to log out when you're done if it's not yours. Now, if it's yours and you use it every day, you can stay logged in as long as everybody you know around you is trustworthy because you don't want someone going in there and messing with your schoolwork. You know what I mean? So. Johnny, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, anyhow, Johnny was a kid I went to school with and he'd always mess with my homework, but that was way before computers. Okay, so uh, I'm logged in. You can see how all this works and you can see the waffle. That's really the mystery of how to log into your Google account. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, go ahead and give it a try. But like I said, you need an internet connected device. You need to know your email account, your school email account, and you need to know your password. You got the, those things. You're in like Flynn. Good luck.